What we have on the screen is uh, the uh, six Yagis. And we're looking at the uh, ring. We're centered on the ring in the middle of the array. That's called a TIC rotor, TIC rotor. Uh, and the antenna rotates on the outside of the tower around that ring. There are two motors on the ring that actually turn the array. The array weighs about 650 pounds. Each antenna is 37 and a half feet long. They're separated by 16 feet. There's three antennas high, two antennas wide. And we're elevated to about 20 degrees elevation. Now if we scan up the tower a little bit, there's the omnidirectional antennas. And this array of six has an antenna beam width of three to five degrees. Uh, between the 1 dB points. Very, very critically sharp on aiming. Readouts, I'm using, uh, they're called absolute readouts by digital, uh, digital group, digital radio, I believe. And um, they give a tenth of a degree accuracy for readout. On the very top of the tower uh, are four what they call omnidirectional, horizontally polarized two meter antennas. Uh, they're called uh, big wheels. Some people call them clover leaves. They're phased together with half-inch heliax and a four-way power divider up on top. Uh, each antenna is about 3 dB. So when you double your antenna array, you get another 3 dB. So from one big wheel to two, you get 3 dB. So you started at three. So you've added three. So now you're at six. When you double from two to four, you get 3 dB more. So now we're at 9 dB. And the top big wheel is 126 feet off the ground. As the uh, feed lines go into the 100 foot tower, there are two inch and 5 8 celiacs that are connected to the six antennas, the two bays of six, or the EME antenna or the moon bounce antenna, whatever you want to refer to it as. So these are two inches in diameter outside diameter. They're called inch and 5 8 celiacs. This is called 7 8 inch celiacs. Very low loss. These run uh, two meters are rated at two tenths of a dB per 100 feet. So I'm running roughly 200 feet. That's four tenths of a dB long. This bundle is all of the control lines going up to turn the antenna and rotate uh, and elevate the antennas, as well as the readouts uh, for where the antennas are being positioned.